Hello everyone. Now uh, today we are going to discuss about static multiprocessor scheduling, and in that we will cover node duplication. So in order to eliminate uh, idle time and to further reduce the communication delays among processors, so we can duplicate some of the nodes in more than one processor so here the topic is multiprocessor scheduling so before uh, understanding node duplication we will take an example like here we have two processors p1 and p2 and we have some nodes like a b d c e and processor one is executing node a node b node d and processor p2 is executing c and e and processor 1 is uh, in processor 1 node a is taking four clock cycles b is taking one clock cycle so d is taking two clock cycle and c is taking one and e is two and there is a dependence between A and B. You can see the AR mark. Similarly, B and D, there is a dependence. So, suppose if you want to execute D, so we should. So, there is a dependence between. So, D is dependent on B and C, and C is executed by P2. Let us see what are the problems uh, we will face uh, when we are executing this program. Uh, so, in the next slide. So if you observe here, so A is having clock cycle as 4, so in, that is in processor P1, so we will go to processor P1 and we are executing node A and it will take 4, that's why 0 to 4. After that, if you see here, A comma 1, there is one delay, so one clock cycle delay before executing B because B is dependent on A so we cannot execute B before this one clock cycle delay so here if you see here after 4 5 is one delay then at 6 clock cycle we are executing B and B again it is one clock cycle so it will take one clock cycle that is 6 comma 7 here after that if you observe we cannot execute directly d because d is dependent on b as well as c and if you go to processor p2 so initially a is executing 4 so that's why here also this is an idle time so it has to wait after that a will produce output and for inter process communication because here we have two processors p1 and P2 so interprocessor delays a comma 8 so it has to wait up to 8 clock cycles so from 4 plus 8 if you observe it is 12 so at 12th clock cycle we are executing C and if you observe C is taking one clock cycle so we are executing here and immediately cannot execute now D here because again Com inter process communication delay is 8 from p2 to p1 if the result has to move the delay is 8 so from see here so 13 plus 8 it is nothing but 21 so at 20 second we are executing d and it is taking sorry 21 we are executing d and it will take two clock cycles so 21 comma 23 after that immediately you can see here this side e is executed and it is taking two clock cycles 14 15 16 okay and this is how the interprocess communication delays the program execution so what we will do now so we are duplicating 
the node A in processor P1 so same thing is duplicated in P2 and in P1 again we are duplicating C because C is used by was 8 clock cycle delay in previous graph so we are using C here so that the interprocess communication delay can be cancelled and now if you observe same thing so first we are executing A here so it will take 4 clock cycles so node A then it has 1 clock cycle delay so there is a 1 delay after that we are executing B B is taking 1 clock cycle then we are going to execute D and delay is 1 so 1 delay then we are executing D it will take 2 clock cycles so it starts at 8, 9, 10 then after that if you observe here we have completed at 14 clock cycle so total it is taking 14 similarly on P2 if you take first it will executing A after that one delay so there is one delay then C comma 1 so we are executing C one clock cycle then one more delay C comma 1 so here one more delay then we can see here E comma 2 so this is two clock cycles okay so total this program is taking after node duplication 14 clock cycles and if you observe previous one without node duplication it is was taking 27 so almost we reduced to the half okay it is almost near okay so this is how uh, we can uh, using node duplication we can reduce the execution time and there are four major steps involved in grain determination and the process of scheduling optimization so first step one is so we have to construct a fine grain program graph second step is schedule the fine grain computation then step 3 perform grain packing to produce the coarse grains and step 4 is generate a parallel schedule based on the packed graph so whatever we discussed in the previous example so we have followed these four steps so if you go through those examples so these four steps are followed okay